Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today I want to talk to you about dimples. And no, I'm not talking about uh, those sweet little things on Shirley Temple's cheeks. I'm talking about when a coin has a deep mirror proof-like finish to it, or sometimes just deep heels, deep proof-like finish to it. Uh, and uh, so that's when a coin actually looks like a proof, even though it's not. Now, the tricky part is they don't all look like a proof. They don't all have a cameo appearance. And um, desirability varies a little bit on these based on eye appeal, not just grade. So this is a slightly older version of an NGC holder, 65 DPL. Nice looking coin overall, real clean fields. Uh, and uh, you're going to see a really wide variety of things in, in, in dimples and DPLs. And I'll show you what I'm talking about, a little bit newer version. Also, this one is this one has a decent frosted finish to it, and a really strong mirror on the back. Now, here's the thing, you know, you start talking about having a cameo look to a coin, and that's always going to be the thing that really draws you to these coins. But lots of times they don't have a cameo finish as much as it is that they have that real big mirror finish on the back of the coin, right? So. Let me do. Uh, let me do this, right? So, I'm gonna hold up a pen. Whoop! Try to get it out of the camera angle here, but I want you to see. See, that's white. Why don't I have one of my orange pens? Oh, that's because it's my number one bestseller when I'm out on the field, and uh, I don't have any left. Actually, I lie. Orange. You glad I got that color? All right. Here we go. So I am, one of the things they look at is in the fields, just how far can you see a reflection that hence the mirror, right? So a part of it is just seeing where's, how far away can you still see the orange, right? When it's tracking away from the surface of the coin. And that's something that you can look at and you'll see pretty differently. And I'm holding the, the uh, pen in the same spot and you can see the coin in the same spot look at how bright the coin looks not just bright but clean right and so lots of times guys who collect these I mean lots of guys just collect based on eye appeal which makes sense right eye appeal is always important but the actual depth of the pen of the mirror really can vary a lot and the clarity can vary a lot so I'm just going to keep going through here because I got some I have some interesting pieces to look at like for example, this is an older holder, and sometimes these older holders, both PCGS and NGC, don't have that same level of reflectivity to it, or lots of times it won't have that same frostiness. Now check out how clearly you can see the pen there on the right side of the coin. Now, but if you look at this coin in general, it doesn't have that same look to it that the other coins have, right? It, it has a mirror, but it doesn't have that same frosted finish to it. And uh, so that can be a little bit tricky on the older coins. Uh, pardon me, the older holders. Meanwhile, back at the ranch, here we go with an old Annex soapbox. And here's one that maybe you didn't count on, but you know it really does have a pretty nice mirror to it, but it also doesn't have that quite that same frosted finish to it. By the way, this is a 84cc. They got it in a five dimple, and uh, it's all there. So for those of you who haven't figured out yet, I keep looking actually at the coin, looking for the orange of the pen uh, to see just how far we can see. And sometimes, what I really like to see, of course, well here this is silly, right? This one has this one looks like a stinking proof. Look at the look at the quality of the cameo on that thing. But it's not just the quality of the black and white finish, but then look at the mirror. Look at how clearly you can see the pen on this coin. And there's lots of ways to do this. I mean, I know guys, they've got little setups with like charts and lines and things. You know, this is this is the most, this is as scientific as I get. But really one of the things you see is on some of these really cool dimples, it almost looks like the coin is like sunk in at the center. I got a couple of these and, and these happen to be mostly Carson Cities here that I have. But same thing with this one here where the reverse of the coin just has this really, really solid center to it. 
Let me see here. Where's my uh, where's my pen at? I think I moved my pen a little bit. There it is. So dimples are first and foremost all about having the mirror finish. And then secondly, they're about having a cameo appearance. Now the tricky part with these guys is that, um, here we go, this one's a four. The fields oftentimes get real scuffy. Now this will be all over the place. I've seen a lot of dimples that um, are really, really scuffy looking and have like a five, right? This is five cacked. And look at these two coins and which one which one do you like better as far as the grade aspect goes? Not necessarily the depth of the mirror or the frostiness. The one on the left is frostier, but also because of that frostiness, you know, it looks like there's more contact marks throughout compared to one that maybe isn't quite as frosty looking. So, you know, specialty collectors, uh, th this whole market is a specialty market. You can take coins that would have been, I'm just gonna grab the gray sheet real quick. I mean, a common date coin, you know, like a 79S that would have been, you know, a whatever, $75 coins, a $300 coin in dimple, right? And then, of course, rare dates are all over the place as far as what they do. I just wanted to grab some common dates, like a, an 83.0 and 65 dimple, like that coin, they're showing for almost uh, $1,000, roughly $1,000 and that's a $200 coin in the marketplace if it's not a dimple, right? And so they also have coins that are just simply proof-like. In other words, they don't have that same mirror finish to them. They have a slightly different mirror finish to them. But uh, dimples are a tough, tough, fun collecting area. And there's some, some dates where they're just almost completely impossible to get with a mirror finish to them. And, and collectors will pay silly money for some of those coins. But uh, let me know if you guys collect dimples. Any of you guys who are experts, throw some comments down here about what you love about dimples and how challenging it is. Some of y'all, you just see them and they're like, you know, that's a pretty coin, I'm gonna buy it, which is cool. Also, try not to get hooked on these guys because it'll cost you a pretty penny. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the owl button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.